It's a John Anderson tune that I've always loved. But uh, with, with a twist. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks to YouTube on that one. <laughs> that took about a day. Just real quick before we play another one, I would like to. We, last night we had this great, uh, great, great, great songwriters workshop at uh, Magnolia Moon. Thanks to Gary back there in the back. We're really grateful for that. We got to meet um, some really fantastic people and songwriters. We got to meet several and hear several. And I don't want to put anybody on the spot, but if you were there last night, would you mind standing up real quick? There they are. Yes. So I very much like to thank every one of them. They, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm sure, I'm sure that all of them are already famous around here, and you already know this. But I, um, it, just in case you're not aware of them, memorize those faces and go and catch them play anywhere. You've got. I'm, I'm, I'm jealous and proud of of this uh, Oklahoma area that we've gotten to to know so far. There's so many talented and great people, and. Uh, I, I just, I hope that you guys will go out and support the thing that you have right here at your, at your home. You know, I hope you guys will get out there and, and, and see them and support them as much as you can. Because they're really, really phenomenal. Consider them vouched for. Oh, yes. Mom and brothers approved. <laughs> well, wonderful. Thank you all so much for coming tonight, too. It means the world. Right? I mean, that's, our, that's our new friends and family. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like to take a moment, too, man. I mean, for those of you, if this is your first time to see us or... Some of you may have seen us, but don't know how to get in touch with us. If you guys uh, go check us out online at themulliganbrothers.com, we would really appreciate that. There's just about everything you need to know about the band is on the website. All of our social media is on there. and uh, Social security numbers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we have an online store, but we also have some, uh, everything is here tonight. So if you guys would like to pick up a CD or a shirt or something like that. And we got new shirts that are coming out, man. We were trying to get them ready to, to come up here, man, and, and we didn't get them quite in time. So we'll have some new shirts on the website. It's not our fault. That's right. <laughs> but we'll have some new shirts on the on the store tab on our website, and our tour tour tab is on there, so you can find out when and where we're going to be. I think we'll be posting some videos. Yeah, we do a tour log on there. There's a tour log page where uh, you'll get to see a lot of familiar sites on these uh, on these trips. We, we usually will snap a couple of quick videos and put some photos on a map and all that good stuff. It will be featuring this lovely band in the very back, uh, Annie Oakley. Where you, can yeah. them, so you can catch them on our website tomorrow at some point, depending on when we wake up and when we're up. That's right. hungry and all those things that you don't know what.
<laughs> you guys, this is uh, this next song we're gonna do. Is, it's called "Come to Me." It's another song that's on our, on our album. Uh, I I write a little bit, not as much as Ross does. Ross is kind of the the master writer over there, man. You pay no attention to this segment. Exactly. I'll tell you when you can pay attention to it. <laughs> but I dabble a little, and uh, a couple of years ago I started writing with a wonderful songwriter, a girl by the name of Mary Ann Allison Down. And I live in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, right outside of Biloxi, right down on the coast. And uh, Mary Ann is, is from there as well. I'm, I'm from Baton Rouge originally, but when I moved there, I uh, met Mary Ann along the way. And uh, just a couple of years ago, we started writing songs together and uh, more country stuff and a lot of stuff that usually doesn't really fit our band. But um, she uh, came to me with a song, and uh, I, I really like the song. It's, it's the one we're about to play called Come to Me. And uh, we, we kind of just, it's a very simple song. Uh, it's, it's a pretty song, though, and, and we had a, had a, I don't know, kind of, it's kind of together, she and I, and then we had a, Ross Newell throw a little something on there. It was way better had, until he, I got involved. He, <laughs> <laughs> we needed, we needed uh, some advice on this one. But, uh, this is called Come To Me. Yeah. 
again, we can't, we really can't thank all of you enough. This is one of those great nights that uh, that stick with you, and we'll we'll always remember it. And we're so pleased to meet uh, all of you. Everybody's been just above and beyond great. Uh, thank you again so much for being here. Uh, thank you. We've been on Lisa. I don't know where Ben's at. He needed a break. <laughs> but thank you all so much for having us. Thank you for having this wonderful venue, too, man. We really do uh, appreciate that. So. This one's called uh, One Trick Pony. And, and I, I, only every once in a while uh, do we really, I guess, take the time to explain what the songs mean right before we play them. And, Tonight, particularly, it's only now occurred to me after we've been playing these songs for several months uh, that a large percentage of these songs have to do with my parents. And they're great, uh, I should say. Um, but this song, my dad always just kind of, every time I tell this story, just kind of hangs his head. You know, this is dumb. But um, <laughs> when, I, uh, when, I took the, when I decided to, uh, to try to go full-time music, um, I was probably a little older than most people who, who take that step. And uh, my, my dad, a uh, great man, but he's a, he's a very hardworking man. And I was actually, when I was doing the electrical work, he was a, also a union electrician, so I got the opportunity to work with him from time to time. And he taught me a lot, and he just had so much of my respect that when I decided that I was for sure gonna do this, I was just gonna be a full-time musician if it killed me, or if I just had to do it for a year and then go back to work, and, and beg for my job or whatever I had to do, but I was just gonna do it. And the main consequence that came to mind was the whole idea of my dad having to go to his friends, who I, I knew his friends, my dad had to go to his friends and say, well, yeah, my son's a musician. Like, <laughs> that, I was so terrified of what that was gonna mean for my dad. Cause I mean, to his friends and a lot of people he keeps company with, that's ba you should just say he doesn't have a job and that's way better than saying he's a musician. My, my dad's name is James, and uh, his family and all of his close friends have called him Dusty for an unknown reason his entire life. He just goes by Dusty to so many people. And there's a line in this song that it, it, uh, it's kind of a double meaning thing, but it's, it says a Dusty replication. And in one part of the song, it says, it's almost in the context, context of I, I'm anything but a Dusty replication. And another one says, uh, well, turns out I'm a Dusty replication. And it's, just depending on how you look at it, I suppose. This is, uh, I think we've got time for one more song today. Yes, we do. And then we're gonna hand it over. I understand there's a great jam that happens that I'm super excited about. Woo! <laughs> hang out for that. Uh, this one's called One Trick Pony. Thank you again so much for being here.
You guys, we're the Mulligan Brothers. Thank y'all so much. Thank you very much. You guys have been fabulous. We love y'all so much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for wanting to hear that one more song. Yeah. All right, man. Those are those safe lighters, man. They won't burn anything down. This is uh, this is a bit of a, a, a sneak peek. This is out of all the new material we have. This is really the only one. We we decided uh, after after this song we had really we started writing new material for the new album and and uh, before long we realized that well it kind of takes away some of the magic of the whole thing that by the time you release the album everybody already knows every song on it and everybody is tired of those songs like they want you to be two CDs ahead sort of almost so so after uh, we uh, we wrote this one we did a little bit of pre-production on it. And then we just started playing it at a couple of gigs just kind of so we could practice it. And uh, so we kind of let that one out of the bag. But this is the only one out of all the new material that the band is currently playing until we get closer to the CD release date. And this one is called Let Em Ring. It's kind of, um, this is about just all the traveling we've been doing and being on the road and kind of traveling all over America and uh, missing somebody the whole while. Let Em Ring is called.
thank y'all so much. We're the Mulligan Brothers, you guys. Check us out online, themulliganbrothers.com. We love you. Wow.